drives me crazy. I feel like you were made just for me. Hey guys, today I have another video for you and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. As you can see, it's early in the morning and my hair is a mess. I'm in my PJs, but we're going to make it work. First things first, we're going to tie our hair up and then squish our face and then prime our face. And today I'm going to be using Too Faced Primed and Poreless. You guys, of course, can use whatever you feel comfortable with. Next, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Magic Nude, and this is in the color tan, I believe. Now I'm just going to blend that all out with a damp beauty blender. And then, of course, I'm going to build it up because my face is walling out. So we need a little more coverage than usual. Now to further conceal my imperfections, I'm going to be taking Max Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm in the shade NW30. Then I'm going to use my beauty blender to just blend it all out. Now for my brows, I'm just taking a spoolie as shown here and I'm basically taming my brows. And now I'm going in with my Sleek Makeup Brow Kit. This is amazing. I mentioned it in one of my favorites video. Um, it is powder, but there is a gel form as well. I'm using the powder because we just don't need all that other stuff. Now I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes and get rid of any darkness. First shade I'm using is Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and I'm just going to pack that all over my lid. Next I'm using makeup Next I'm using Makeup Geeks um, eyeshadow in frappe and I'm popping this into the crease of my eye to kind of give myself that smoky eye look and then I'm going to blend 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 as much as I possibly can because that is key right now. Now to give more depth or dimension to this look, I'm going in to my crease with Max Brown script. I'm not going to blend this out too much because I do enjoy the cut crease look, but I am going to blend. Um, the goal here is to create a little more dimension with this color. Next I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. I am just blending out any harsh lines above my brow bone. And now with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend all of those colors together. Uh, you're my baby, my lover, my lady. All night you make me you As a brow highlight, I'm, I'm using L'Oreal's Magic Lumi highlighter. And I'm just popping that directly under my brows. And then I am blending that out. Feel the same way, cause it just feels so right. I don't wanna waste no time. If I had to choose, I know I'm gonna always 
Now I'm just gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in black. I'm just going to be darkening my lower lash line. This is not meant to look harsh at all because we are gonna blend it out. I just wanna give my lash line a little more dimension because you guys know I do not wear false lashes. So we are going to make that lash line look dark. Now to give myself a little bit of highlight underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and this is in the shade Medium. This is a perfect highlighter for me. I don't like that stark white highlighter, so this really gives me a nice, subtle highlight and makes my eye makeup pop. Now for mascara. First mascara up is Miss Manga Mascara. I love this mascara. I'm going to use this first um, on my lashes. Next, I'm going to be using Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. This is the first step, and this one right here is the second. These are the white fibers that go on to give your eyelashes a little bit of an extended look. And here's the last step here. You just coat it one more again. And as you can see, my lashes look really, really long and awesome. I'm just going to go in with my Milani Baked Blush, and this is in the color Illuminoso. I really, really love this blush when I'm doing um, eyes that I want to pop because it just makes your cheeks glow and doesn't give you any harshness. For lipstick, I'm going to be using my NARS Barbella Lipstick. This is an awesome color. It is sheer tone and kind of glossy, um, but it is perfect. And there you go. But I got to change these clothes. And voila, I'm ready for my day and my makeup is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, you know exactly what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya.